this main camp here I'll be going over in a future video. Um, this is kind of the nicest out of the, the three cabins that we have. But uh, today I'm going to be going up in the woods up back there. Uh, and I'll show you that cabin here. But the main camp's here. Right behind the whole camp we have a river that runs back there. Um, and then we have a bridge that we've constructed over here. So this is the bridge that we've built. Um, the actual collar ties here are built out of railroad tracks. Um, so we've used those to kind of hold it up and it's a suspension bridge. So this took us quite a while to build, but uh, it holds a lot of weight. You can drive four wheelers across, dirt bikes, um, and this gets us across the, the river so we can get our supplies up to the main camp. Now uh, we have here, we have the river. Um, so that flows around and back behind the main camp that you can kind of see over there. As you can see, it's still a little snowy down here and cold. Uh, this is the third cabin that we will be building over the summer once the weather's a little nicer. Right now, we've just kind of constructed the downstairs and then we'll have a big camp above it that'll be built up top. Um, all these logs and lumber is everything that we've cut from the property down here. We have a wood miser sawmill so we can saw all of our own lumber. And these are all trees that we've, we've cut down and we've peeled the trees, peeled the logs, uh, dried them out and used them as that's our main construction. And underneath we're using all, all trees from the property that we've cut down on, on the property, sawed on the sawmill and prepped it. So right now we just have the outside uh, kind of done, the insides not much, but that'll be in a future video. So this is another one of the suspension bridges that we've created as another access point to get up to our other off-grid cabin. Um, so we kind of just got it off to the trees here and across the river just to get us up there. This is the smallest of the three cabins we have in the property. This is a nice outside view. I'll give you guys a tour of the inside here in a minute, but we've got a lot of property up here in the woods. You can kind of see over there in the background, there's a milk tank back there. That's a 500 gallon milk tank that we use for collecting the spring water. And that keeps it clean, keeps it fresh, and then it flows down here gravity fed with a hose and down to the main camp with a hose all gravity fed. This is our off-grid bathroom. Um, it is a flushing toilet, it is fully off-grid. I know a lot of people have composting toilets when they're off-grid, but we kind of wanted the luxury of a, a flushing toilet. Um, cool thing is we have, well, we have an unlimited supply of natural spring water that comes from up the hill and we have a bulk tank that holds the water, so I'm not worried about using too much water, um, but we do have a full flush toilet here. This is the bathroom we built. Um, there's also a video uh, on my page that shows how we did the septic system uh, for this toilet as well. So this is the inside of our tiny cabin. As you can see, we do have a sink. Uh, everything's powered off of solar and 12 volt batteries. It's all 12 volt lights, which I'll talk about. Um, but here we do have running water. Uh, it's hooked up to the spring right now. Right now it's disconnected at the moment. I just came here to make a video, but um, we do have a sink. Underneath we have a little bit of storage. And under here we have our, our 12 volt battery that supplies the power for the lights uh, and just a little bit of storage underneath here. So moving on from the sink, we do go over, you have some nice windows. Uh, everything on the inside is all wood that we've, uh, tongue and groove boards that we've had from down here, 12 volt lights. Um, we do have a couch down here, futon, a little dining area vaulted ceiling, another 12 volt light up there. So this is the sleeping loft that we have right now in this little cabin. Uh, we have two single beds, another 12 volt light and a window up here and you can get some fresh air especially when the fire is going really hot. It's nice to have some, some fresh air. So this is a view from up in the loft. We have a nice lamp there. 
nice little space. I mean, it's not our permanent residence. We have a bigger off-grid cabin down below that I'll show in a future video, but um, this, this suffices. It's a nice cabin. This is the back side of the cabin. We have a nice little stream, really just overflow from our springs that we have that feed the, the water source. But back side of the camp, just a little stream flowing behind it. Um, there's the camp. 